Greetings, saints. And grace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Billy D. Welcome to today's Moments in Ministry. There are many suggestions in the Bible for dealing with temptation, but the most important tip is this run. Few speed records are broken when people run from temptation. They often crawl away from it, hoping it catches up with them. Sometimes temptation comes through a door we deliberately leave open. Suppose that you accidentally spilled kerosene all over your clothes and somebody nearby lit a match. Where would you go? As far away as you could and as fast as possible. That should be the attitude of a Christian toward temptation. Paul says in 1 Corinthians 6 and 18, flee sexual immorality and flee from idolatry. So run away from sin and don't leave a forwarding address. Don't miss this. When you run from temptation, you head toward God. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. When you know something is sinful, don't engage or banter with the devil because he is the master of rationalization. That's how Eve fell. It breaks my heart when Christians try to justify their sins. There is no limit to the arguments with which the devil can supply you. As soon as you know something is wrong, flee. The bravest person runs from temptation. The fool flirts with it. The most precious way to overcome any temptation has to be because you love God. You know that sin hurts God. And when tempted, you need to say out loud, I can't do it because I love God. The more you love Jesus, the less the attractions of the devil will hold sway over you. We're all tempted, but the Lord has promised that he has overcome through the exceeding great and precious promises found in the scriptures. Jesus will teach us how to overcome. The devil could not make Jesus sin, nor can he make us. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Ask him for the overcoming power and joyfully drive into the pages of his word. Here's a slice of today's bread of heaven from Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Let us pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So until we come this way again, may God bless you and keep you is my prayer.